Landmines and jellyfish, welcome back to Knives, I guess, and if Jesus isn't real, then why are vampires afraid of going to McDonald's? Checkmate, atheist. So I've decided today is Throwing Star Thursday, because I don't have anything else I can think of that starts with the letters T and or H. But these are things that I made, and they're real easy to make, and they're a ton of fun to play with, especially if you've got a valid target. And what we're going to take a look at is these guys right here. And I made these out of old edger blades when they started getting used up and I didn't want to deal with them anymore. And I mean, look at it. This thing is a monster. Um, here is the Best Techman Dundee for scale. You can see that is a really, really large throwing star and they are heavy. So this one got cut out and I welded this together in weld class and I had a hard time starting the bead here, but the other three came out beautiful. Now, if you don't ha have access to a welder, do not despair, my fine friend. You just bolt them together. And that's what I did when I first started making these things because that's what I had access to, a drill press and an imagination. And uh, I think I had an angle grinder at that point. I, yeah, I did. Um, back then it was hard to get tools and I wanted an angle grinder for a long time. And I finally got one and this is one of the first things I did. It sucks being super, super, super broke. Um... I also made this one, which of course is more of the same, a little bit bigger. And then one of the first ones I made, I took to work and I had one of the guys in a different uh, shop on campus weld these things together for me. I, just because it felt more sturdy. The bolts worked just fine, but it felt like this would be a definite upgrade. Now you can see where these edges are pretty heavily beveled and I cut myself pretty badly trying to pull one of these out of a tree off the beveled edge. So I learned you only have to bevel the edge close to the tip, which is why this one has no beveling on it past this point right here, and those bevels are really tiny. Like, all I want is small points on them. Uh, the, edges on this, uh, the edges on this bevel got crowned over, the edges on these bevels got crowned over, and this one definitely got crowned over and rounded off. I just put the bevels on it for aesthetics, and then crowned them because I learned my lesson. But this is what I got for Throwing Star Thursday. I'm just really kind of proud of these things, and if you like playing with stuff like this, this is a great way to make yourself some really big ones that are very effective and super satisfying to throw. I'd like to throw them more, but I don't have a valid target here at my current house. Either I need to build one or just wait till we're somewhere where I can just build one or have a tree. I also want to start playing around with throwing knives again. I never got great at it, but it's fun. So, all that being said, thanks for taking a look at these things. I find them interesting. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for the subscribers, both new and old. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We're slowly working our way towards a 1,000. And thanks for the comments. They make this better for me. All that being said, y'all have a nice day.